Hello everybody, Azumi here, and today I'm going to run Etios Decimates S4 Auto Solo. So, first up in my team is going to be Apocalyptic Kawaru. Alright, and second is going to be Gamma. I'm just going to call her Gamma from now on. And right in the middle is Sorticia. Fourth is going to be Cannon Mama Eleanor. And last but not least is Spear Knight Garrod. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so Bowman Etios is in the ranged row, is an elf, and is considered to be grounded. His action skill does dark attack damage to the two front enemies which ignore shields and ignore barriers as well as dark attack damage to the three front enemies that also ignore shields and ignore barriers as well as shadow bound for three turns to Aesir, Elves, and Beasts. Also he grants himself Sure Shot and Faint for three turns apiece. His auto skill does dark magic attack damage and shadow bound for three turns to everybody and that affects Aesir, Elves, and Beasts as well as skill gauge 10% down as well as one more turn of faint to himself. Um, you also have to deal with the chaos drive field so pretty much you're going to want to equip light artifacts because you'll get a skill boost if you're using them. Um, keep in mind that he also has magnetic field so what that really does is makes it so your gear does not proc very much so your stats are more important than what actual gear that you have equipped all right next we're going to talk about the um, automata that's the way I say it um, the ones closest to Etios does their auto skill does dark attack damage and pit chain for three turns and pit chain affects everybody so as well as what all the automata do is uh, nullify the damage to everybody so long as the automata are not hit with paralyzed or holy chain then you're not going to be able to really do any damage so keep that in mind. Paralyze and Holy Chain. That's why I'm using um, Garrod, Eleanor, Gamma. I mean, even um, White Lupus is a really good one for this. And also we have the back set of Automata, which buffs the attack or debuffs the attack and magic per attack 30% down for three turns to everybody in your party as well as granting Etios Frenzy for three turns and an 80% attack magic attack shield for three turns. So that, that right there, you have to sort of CC these automata with Paralyzer or Holy Chain or you're not going to do very much. Alright, and um, some other characters you can use. There's not going to be many. So, like... I mentioned White Lupus, you could use him in place of like my Apocalyptic Waru, but there's not going to be many other substitutions. Um, what was it? Uh, Aesir, Elves, and Beasts are going to be a hard no with Shadowbound, and then also they're going to get Pit Chained on top of it. So that's not a good idea. And now I'm just kind of stalling for time because I'm my script is over now. So, <laughs> and I think that's about it. So, like like I said before, you're gonna want to use any kind of light artifacts that give you a you know chaos drive support. So any of the light ones is really gonna make a difference because it'll make your skill gauge go up a lot faster. And more skill gauge equals more CC. That stops him so that's because you can't rely on your gear um, even with master it doesn't really seem to work a hundred percent of the time so all right
right, another couple of hits here, almost done. Thirty-eight seconds to spare. I have anywhere from like thirty seconds to a minute left. It just depends on RNG. All right, we'll look at the damage here. There we go. Have a good day.